Let's visually analyze and create a new seating plan to safely return to the office using IBM Trariga's dynamic space planning tool. As a space planner, I want to reorganize the office space to meet physical distancing requirements and to convert assigned seats into reservable hoteling workstations. Before I make any changes to the spaces, I want to first analyze the current baseline floor plan. Let's get a clear picture of the space details by clicking the arrow on the right side to expand the filtering sidebar. The Show By section allows us to apply different lenses to the floor plan based on what information I'd like to see for the spaces. The Space Class filter is a default view which helps to understand what each space is used for based on its classification. Clicking the Occupancy Organization filter identifies which spaces are allocated to specific departments within the organization. Clicking the Charge to Organization filter identifies which departments are financially responsible for the use of each space. This is something that can be established for each space within Chariga through chargeback allocations. If I want to identify which spaces are currently reservable on the floor, I can filter for those by clicking Reservable Flag and then selecting the True checkbox. Now I want to see which workstations are assigned to specific individuals at the workplace. Click on the People icon on the left side of the page. Click Show People, click All People under the drop-down list. And a directory of employees who are assigned to a workstation on the floor plan will show up. After analyzing the baseline floor plan, I want to create a new scenario to my floor plan to make all required changes for the return to work. Click the Create Scenario icon and a new window will open. Type in the name of the draft Click Save. For the new scenario, I want to set up a section from this floor's workstations to become reservable hoteling spaces. The first thing I need to do is remove any assigned people from the workstations I'd like to make reservable. Click the Select Spaces icon. Click and drag the pointer over a section of workstations. Click Edit Selections. Click Remove People. Next, I want to ensure these spaces are able to be reserved. To do this, I'll keep the same selection of workstations and use the Mark Reservable function. Click Edit Selections. Click Mark Reservable. We can verify this by using the Reservable filter. Under the Filter by section, click Reservable Flag, then click True. Now you can see that the spaces are recognized as reservable in the system, which will feed into Trariga's reservation process. Let's finish setting up these spaces. First, let's update their classification as they are currently labeled as workstations, but we can pick a new space class to indicate that these spaces are specifically for hoteling. Click Edit Selections. Click Change Space Details. Type Hotel in the New Space Classification field. Select Hoteling Workstation. Click Continue. Now we can visually see that these workstations have a different classification compared to the other workstations on the floor. Finally, let's update the organization allocations for these spaces. We can see which department currently owns the spaces by using the Show By lens for occupancy organization. Let's remove the currently assigned department from these spaces since we're converting them to reservable hoteling workstations. Click Edit Selections. Click Change Org Details. Change the allocation type to Occupancy. Click Clear. Let's also do the same for the chargeback allocation so no department is now financially tied to these spaces. Click Edit Selections. Click Change Org Details. Change the allocation type to Charge 2. Click Clear. Another feature the tool has that could help with our scenario planning is a distance slider. 
I want to keep some assigned seats on this floor, but I need to comply with physical distancing guidelines. I can use a slider to add a distance factor at the top to help me see which seats could be used and which ones should not be assigned. For example, if I needed to seat people about 6 feet apart, I can move the slider to 72 inches. Now we can see that workstations in faded blue should not have anyone sitting in them in order to meet the 6 feet distancing rule. Let's move and reassign people into available workstations that are highlighted in blue. These individuals could be temporarily removed and assigned to work remotely. Click Move People. Click and drag the people into available workstations who are currently in faded out seats due to the distance slider. I am happy with this scenario. Click Save Draft to save it and make further changes later. Or click Stage Change to create a staging record in the system. The staging record will summarize all of the changes that were made in our scenario and I can complete this record by publishing the changes in the system. Using IBM Trariga's Dynamic Space Planning tool enables space planners to easily visualize, plan, and implement changes to the workplace seating plan all in one system.